Of all the time I've been cruising around Bali, I always like coming up this one particular street. And that's because it's got some of the most unbelievable artwork and sculptures and woodcrafts and stuff. And look, look, it's not the sort of stuff that you can put in your suitcase and take home. It's furniture and it's just some unbelievable handicrafts. But I thought I'd like to take you for a bit of a stroll down there. You can get freight forwarders who will combine ship stuff across to Australia and other countries. So it is possible to get this stuff at home. But wow, I just want to show it to you. And I'm going to leave a link to where this street can be found. Uh, like a drop pin in the description at the end of this. So if you're interested to come over here yourself and go for a bit of a wander... Now there's lots and lots of shops and they sell all sorts of different things from macrame handiwork to, to custom wood, wood carvings and custom furniture. It's just absolutely unbelievable and it stretches for quite a few kilometres. It's actually up the back of Kerabokan, sort of wrapping around the back of the Kerabokan jail. Um, and that's where Chappelle Corby spent, uh, spent a little holiday over here for a while. So um, it's not in the most glamorous suburb of Bali at all. Uh, it's not far from Seminac, it's sort of you go from Seminac and head, in, head inland a little bit. But I tell you what, as I go past, I might come back and actually do a little bit of a, a look inside some of these shops because it's amazing. So look, follow me, let's see what we can find. And uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy today, it's a little bit different, a little bit arty, but um, yeah, look, it's just, um, just incredible. I'll try and drive slow so you guys get a chance to see. Stout's out pretty much a normal suburban little um, you know, village sort of street in, in Bali. You got a school down there, kids coming home from school. But it soon turns into a really amazing little place. Some macrame, some beautiful stone bowls and stone sculptures over here. There's some absolutely incredible second hand shops and um, and art shops in amongst here as well. That's, look at that wood carving. And look, the guys are in there actually making it, so I might come back. Let me do a run down the street first and give you a bit, wet your appetite a little bit. Look at all this beautiful furniture. Just stunning stuff. And this is only on one side of the road. If we turn around to the other side, we've got cane work there and, and basket work. There's some more recycled timber pots art house oh my god that place is just beautiful lighting places handbags oh that's a furniture place as well look I, I could spend a week just stopping at every single shop down here and giving you a bit of a look so let's just take this as a bit of an overview because I'm gonna have to come back look at that place there look at the furniture hand carved from mostly from recycled wood. There's a beautiful knick-knack second-hand shop. They do a lot with these big mangrove root sort of things. Oh, look at that big table. Imagine a tabletop with that. Big glass table. Fish ponds, look at these, aren't they just glorious? So here's some some pottery and some ceramic stuff, and it's all aged and outdoor, outdoors. I haven't even done a quarter of the street yet, and it's just, it's endless. Beautiful, big, solid teak wooden tables. Stone figurines, a lot of these are left out in the rain to, to get that patina, to get that age to it. Beautiful, huge, big wooden root structures, some more knickknacks and secondhand stuff. Some beautiful stuff here. Now this has got old lamps, ship lamps. I'm slowing down all the traffic's going up, it's getting upset, going past me. Another, oh look, that was a beautiful shop as well. Come on. Look at this. There's a whole shoppy, a whole warehouse full of old timber and old furniture that's been recycled. And then there's some doors up here. 
Now, just to show you, it's on both sides of the road. Look, I'll turn it to the other side of the road. And, and look at this. We've got benches there. We've got some beautiful wicker lampshades and cane work over here. Some more chairs, some more baskets on that side. Proper artist art shops and paintings, galleries and stuff. Look at that. And back over here, basket work, handbags, lots of knickknacks in here as well. Pottery on that side. It's just one of these places. Oh, I'll show you. So these look pretty amazing. And you look across the road, and they've got all this silver and wire work and and it's so intricate now what's interesting at the front of nearly every one of these shops is the guy who makes this stuff actually working on the working on the stuff producing the next item i guess for sale here is a huge gallery on the right hand side full of really professional artworks amazing stuff Someone selling some chicken. More, oh, look at this. Nautical themed. Here's some crocodile benches for home. Lots of big, solid wooden structures. There's some smaller stuff here as well. Petrified woods as well. Here's some wood uh, metalwork, lighting and brass decorations. It's on both sides of the road and it's the entire street. There's doors, old doors. A million and one things you can do with an old door. Galleries, beautiful coffee shops. Wow, that's amazing. I, I need to go and have a bit of a look into some of these places because you just can't appreciate the amount and the scope of the of the woodwork and the and the artistry here. It is literally just endless and phenomenal. Turning a corner, there's some more petrified wood over there. Some beautiful beadwork and crafty stuff there. But a lot of people say, can you bring this stuff home? And the short answer is generally yes. Now, you have to be careful that it's not um, uh, an endangered hardwood species or something that uh, that's on the CITES list and I'd, I'd say you'd have to get some sort of authentication but look at this um, and some of it might have to be fumigated depending on what it is and and how clean it is um, but a lot of it's cane and bamboo which they don't tend to worry too much about and I don't know how you how on earth you'd transport some of these things but Imagine that giant big light shade here in the middle of your house. It's just stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful, um, authentic looking um, stonework and statues and stuff here. And they're made to order the carving so you can actually order exactly what you want with your own aging to it and stuff as well. On the other side of the street, you've got more baskets, you've got clothing shops and material shops, you've got cane work and you've also got a um, oh, there's shells and macrame and all that sort of stuff. We'll keep going. Wow, look at that! There we go. Hand basins, bowls. A lot of hotels and stuff use these regularly. <laughs> Here's the little cupboards. So here we go, here's another example. 
you got all these you know, horse and water statues and birds and other symbolic things, some, some nautical themed stuff as well. And next door you've got this beautiful little sort of knick-knack place with um, all sorts of little basketware and, and whatnot in there. And once again, right across the road, we've got another guy doing baskets. Lamp Art Production. Oh wow, that's um, I better wait to get on road. They've got someone down here selling most beautiful carpets, floor runners and Batik, Batik. Those old recycled now uh, uh, chairs. But no doubt, if you were if you want to get into import export stuff, there is an absolute fortune to be made here because some of the stuff you'd buy over here for next to nothing, and you'd take it home, and it would be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Um, to the right person and yeah you've got a bit of a transportation issue and you may have to pay to get it fumigated but as long as the woods in sound condition doesn't have any borer or any mites or any doesn't have it's not an endangered species type wood then generally there's no problems at all primitive antiques a lot of tribal stuff here with some more it's beautiful stonework here imagine the big stone bathtub like that they have a lot of outdoor bathtubs as well so they have these giant big tubs outside and once again across the road we'll check it out and you've got handmade cabinets made to order natural living 